Well, for the second weekend in a row, blue skies abounded as racing fans farewell the 2011 Spring Racing Carnival with Zipping Classic Day at Sandown. Not even the eardrum-bursting rendition of the national anthem by some Richmond footballers, led by star full forward Jack Rewalt and a couple of jockeys, could ruin the day for the big crowd that flocked to the eastern suburbs track. The day's feature event was the Zipping Classic, now named in honour of the horse that's won it for the past four years, and he led this year's field out. Star attraction was last year's Melbourne Cup winner Americane, who was back to try and avenge his recent defeat in the Melbourne Cup. Let's see how he went. American now called on. He's being asked to go now. Scepter Party's putting in a bit of a run down on the inside. Lamissary last. 400 left to go. Scepter Party's got up on the inside. Menegar on the outside. They've claimed Murian. Now American. Here comes American. He's winding up. He's got him surely at the 200. American raced up to Menegar. Murian coming back on the inside. American about a neck in front. Mosse's looking after him. He won it easily. American three quarters to. Managar, I'd say, a nose to Murian for second. I was a bit worried about because he was not really pace in the race, but uh, the final way is very long and it's go up the hill and uh, he did it well at the end. I would say this horse uh, is a bit special for me. He makes me famous in all Australia and I believe uh, that's a serious point. He already proved that he has a serious quality. The only problem the other day in the Melbourne Cup and everybody feels sad about him then it was a bit, the weight was a bit heavy for him over the two miles. It was paid that to the hand and the ground was a bit firm for him. Today we have a perfect race, weight, set weight, ground a bit softer, different anymore. Well that was American winning the Group 2 Zipping Classic. The day's other feature was the Sandown Guineas where Peter Snowden was looking to continue his fantastic recent record in the race with Galar. Niagara being tackled by Mahasara and getting up on the inside still as Galar. So Swift is pushing through in the centre as well. And these are the three or four with 200 to go. Niagara. Oh, Mahasara got chopped out of it. So Swift, Niagara. So Swift, Niagara. Highly recommended flying in Galar. Four way go. Bob and go. I'm not really sure. So Swift prominent in the middle. I think if you watched his Hamilton run, it was pretty impressive. You know, he picked them up really quickly with a great turn of foot. And when Craig Williams has a look at the uh, tape and says you're right, and it gave me a little bit more confidence as well. For me, I'm very lucky with an agent like Mark Guest, and he was comfortable taking this ride on the Sunday before nominations were out. It was something that he liked, and he liked that he was targeted for this race, and uh, Fred to the wild team, and they're um, <laughs> great trainers, and just gave me a good, good thrill today to, to not out a really good finish and uh, come out in front. Well, that was the father-son training combination of Bill and Simon Wild, upstaging Coolmore and Daly, with So Swift in the Sandown Guineas. Wasn't all bad news for Daly though today. They won one of the day's other features with Sol. Sol moving up to Masthead. 200 left to go now. And Sol put the head in front now from Masthead who's trying to rally. They're clear then from Doubtful Jack. Sol about a half a length in front of Masthead. Sol just in front and Sol will beat Masthead by about a long neck. I thought his last out of Corfu was really good. You know, the horse are beating Frank that former winning again at, at, at Flemington and... Uh, we gave him a bit of a breather to get, get ready for this and uh, that's what it's all about. If you can get the right horse on the right day and things get right to it, you normally get a result. He's a really likeable horse. He's so quiet and um, he's had a lot of problems and he just puts, puts his heart and soul into, uh, well, the pun, <laughs> into uh, everything he does. And I won the Dane Hill on him and then he had some problems and I thought with 59 would be a bit of a test for him today, but he really tries and the juice out of the ground helped him a lot. Well, that was Sol winning the Kevin Heffernan stakes, but the day belonged to American and his fantastic win in the Zipping Classic. Well, that wraps up a fantastic day here from Sandown, completing the 2011 Spring Racing Carnival on the Metropolitan Front. The carnival concludes with Ballarat Cup Day next Sunday. Stay tuned for more racing news.